Tonight, we have a possible case of Ebola right here in Portland. Doctors testing a woman for the virus right now. And new at 11, we learned she is from Liberia. She moved to Portland Tuesday, and our Jennifer Hoff found out tonight that's when she reported feeling sick. Jen is live tonight at Providence Milwaukee Jeff Hospital. Jeff and Ann, we won't know whether her symptoms are from Ebola for at least another couple of days. The hospital here wants you to know that they are also testing her for malaria. And the Oregon Association for Liberians wants you to also know that her injuries could very well be from a car accident that the patient was in recently. Uh, first, they, they did not know Ebola and people didn't understand what it was. Nate Kukula is from Liberia and moved to Portland 12 years ago. He's Oregon's Association for Liberia chairman and was supposed to meet the woman in question soon. She was uh, complaining that she had pain. We found out from Kukula the patient was staying with a Liberian pastor's family. The host family is under quarantine in the northeast part of town. Even when she came, she didn't want to even shake hands. That's, that's one thing we'll notice of her because, you know, they're told in Liberia that avoid contact with people, you know, so they all understand. The Department of Health hosted a meeting today to confirm doctors are testing a patient who spiked a fever this morning. Uh, from a medical standpoint, uh, that makes us uh, more concerned that... Um, the patient does have an acute illness of some kind. The hospital has a specialized real-life Ebola training center, and Dr. Lewis says the patient was being monitored and checking her temperature twice a day. There were no symptoms before that, and there was no public exposure before that. There's no risk to the public. There are 600 Liberians in Portland, and since the virus outbreak, Kirkula says his organization lets county health officials know who's coming and going from Liberia, but he doesn't think there should be travel restrictions. If they go through all the checkups and make sure they're not showing symptoms and things, I think they should, you know, allow them. But what we can do here is, you know, establish that, you know, make sure we monitor them. As for the patient, the center's as for the patient, the Centers for Disease Control will be testing her blood samples, and the preliminary answer could very well come as early as Sunday night or even into Monday morning. As for the patient, she said again that she did not come into contact with anybody who had Ebola. Reporting live in Portland, I'm Jennifer Hoff for Coin 6 News.